body language expert watches meeting with Trump and Putin, reveals one thing media hid from us. President Donald Trump met with Vladimir Putin this week in Hamburg, Germany, during the G20 summit. It was a highly anticipated meeting of the minds between two of the world's top leaders, as reports have swirled surrounding election meddling for the past several months. Now, a body language expert has analyzed the men after watching their exchange, and she just revealed the one thing the media kept hidden from us all. Footage from the G20 summit of the two world leaders greeting each other showed the men shaking hands, then Putin receiving a pat on the back from Trump. However, a body language expert saw things much differently. If this shake or prize fight, and it nearly was, I would have awarded a points victory to Trump, Judy James told the Sunday the gap was a sure sign of the pressure felt by both men at that moment, but as Putin raised an almost wary looking hand for the shake, Trump leaned forward with an outstretched arm and offered his hand palm up, she began to explain. This is an infamous power trap, and Putin had no option but to put his hand into the clamp, she added. Once there, he suffered an underarm patting from Trump that made him look like the dominant leader, so much so that Putin responded with a pointed finger, which is the body language equivalent of drawing a weapon. James noted that Trump's win was the more remarkable because Putin is a master at dominating when it comes to handshakes. In this case, Trump turned the tables with his own power pat. Source, Young Conservatives Once again, we see those on the left commenting on a topic which they know absolutely nothing about. Ask the experts, and they will tell you a much different story. Make no mistake, Donald Trump is a leader to be reckoned fault with and every other president in the world knows as much, including Vladimir Putin, who, by the way, maintained that there was absolutely no meddling in the U.S. election on Russia's part. It's extremely refreshing to finally have a strong leader in the White House once again after eight loathsome years of Barack Obama's presidency. Despite what the media will tell you, Donald Trump lets no one pull one over on him, not even Vladimir Putin. Putin.